Hey team, and welcome back to Paddle Life TV for episode two of 2023. Your go-to show for all things outrigger canoe racing and ocean paddling in Queensland, Australia. I'm Joe Millen, your host. And in this episode, we're diving into all the excitement at Caprock, round two of the Aokra North Queensland Grand Prix. Proudly co-hosted by Rocky and Capricorn Coast Outrigger Canoe Clubs. Situated on the Tropic of Capricorn, this stunning location between Emu Park in Yapoon and the Keppel Islands is home to some of the most scenic sites that create the perfect playground for outrigger canoe racing. Let's start by checking out the highlights of day one, which featured the OC6 short course. We're down here at Emu Park on this beautiful sunny day. Uh, we've got the 2023 Caprock Regattas just about to kick off. Um, we're starting off with the women's short course, followed by the mixed, and then we gear up for the men after that. Grateful for all the crews that have come down to join us. And uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. We've got our changeover race, 45 kilometers out around Great Keppel, and then um, the wind is going to be kind again and picking up for a, hopefully an awesome downwinder on Monday. Hey guys, we're Sunset Bay paddling for three days here at the Cap Rock. Woohoo! Woo Go Sunset! Fantastic race, uh, well done to all crews involved. A little bit choppy on the way out, uh, went around the buoy and then we all, all of a sudden it was calm. It was a little bit hard getting through those conditions, um, but everyone put in hard, paddled hard and great race by everyone. This is our Sunset Bay uh, men's crew. Uh, we've had a mix up, we've had thanks to uh, Sean and Daryl and Mark coming up and joining our team to give us a, uh, a men's team and Tina for steering us. Um, I think our tactics was with Tina coming in was to get as close as we can to those rocks and make the most of the power in the boat. Um, it, was, uh, it was a good effort, solid effort from everyone. Uh, first time we've paddled together as a crew, so I think uh, as, as a crew we went really, really well. So thank you very much, Cap Coast and Rocky, for putting on a great event. A shame more people couldn't get in. It was a good fun paddle. Um, nice, just yeah, long and strong. Just across across um, armor swell coming at us all the way down, and yeah, turn the boy and just come back. Nice and close to the island, trying to take some shortcuts. Um, yeah, good fun. Yeah. <laughs>
our first race of the day. Yeah. And it was felt um, pretty hard actually, that um, challenging water out there. Good to see the home team advantage out there, way out in front. Um, but we enjoyed our paddle out there today. We liked a bit of rough water. Pity it wasn't a bit rougher. Maybe tomorrow, maybe a bit more wind. Um, yeah, good job. Good job everybody out there. Yeah. Darren from Cap Coast here, uh, 2023 Cap Rock changeover event. Uh, we're at the beautiful Fisherman's Beach at Emu Park. Uh, we're about to get ready, load all our gear onto the support boats and head out around Great Keppel Island. Uh, it's about a 45k changeover. Uh, there's plenty of pods of dolphins out there today. We're going to have a few, uh, yeah, a few bombies and a few rocks and a, a few obstacles to, to pass around there today. There's, there's plenty of stuff on the back of the island. A big ground swell which will be good on the, on the downward leg coming home. Uh, yeah, but the, the wind's dropped out a little bit, which is some like it, some don't. We prefer a bit, bit extra, but uh, no, it should be a good race today. Yeah, Coral Seas Masters uh, crew, we're all the way here from Townsville. Uh, beautiful day today. Conditions look actually pretty good for a fast race. Um, we're really looking forward to just sort of coming together, gelling together, and really just getting around outside of Great Keppel there and seeing the scenery as we go around. So. We'll see what it what all pans out. Alright guys, uh, Sunset Bay all the way down from uh, beautiful Mackay. We've got a couple of ring in screens from up north helping us out in this changeover race. Um, tactics are today is to go out there, um, go as hard as we can and enjoy the race. Long and strong, hey Deb, yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, the changeovers, um, there's a lot of people that are, this is their first time doing changeovers so we'll take it as it comes, there's, there's no uh, sheep stations in this race so we'll go out let them enjoy the experience of doing their first changeover and uh, hopefully uh, build up the interest for the next big one at Maggie Island. So cheers Sunset, let's go. Thank you. Yay. We're here on day two of the Cap Rock event. Um, just about to head out for the 45k changeover race. We're super excited, all the teams on the beach are super excited. Uh, we have Four mixed teams and one men's team, but the racing's going to be on because everyone wants line honours, regardless of your division. I uh, hope everyone has a great day and comes back next year.
awesome race, perfect conditions. Um, there are about five of us in our crew that have never ever done a changeover before, so how awesome for us to get in there and jump in and out of the boat. Um, fantastic support crew, well done to the other crews in the race as well. Um, I think we held our own and we, yeah, did a good job. Hey, wow, we made it with some race, woohoo! We made it, we had an awesome race, the weather conditions were fantastic, the water was great, the team was awesome, we just had a beautiful, smooth run. The uh, support bot driver was an absolute amazing guy. He was just totally spot on everywhere. It was great. Um, everyone's looking okay. Nobody got injured. That's even better, you know. And I think we might be back next year. See some Townsville again. Um, Masters means. Um, 45 uh, kilometre round Keppel race, just finished about an hour ago, um, beautiful conditions, nice and uh, calm and flat, beautiful views around the other side, um, a massive big effort by uh, Cap Rock to put on a, an event, um, you know people have missed out on a wonderful weekend worth of racing, um, I'd just like to say thank you, big thank you to Cap Rock for putting this on. Um, the race itself, uh, yeah, we had a battle with uh, the Rocky Club all the way around. Um, made it really interesting, um, but we were fortunate enough to sort of come out on top. Um, we had a dramatic uh, event around the other side where we sort of rode up onto the rocks a little bit, um, but we were able to sort of keep composure and go on for the win. We're here for the uh, the third day of racing at the Caprock uh, Regatta for the downwinder. Would have liked a bit more uh, wind, but uh, this is uh, probably my favourite uh, downwind course uh, in Queensland. Uh, definitely in that. I've done some races here that have been absolutely e epic. The section where the waves really uh, stand up, and we probably won't get that today by the look of the weather, but uh, it's always a great place to, to come and paddle. Yes, I'm here for the uh, Caprock uh, Downwinder, the first um, major AC1 race I've done. I'm really looking forward to it. Conditions look great and hopefully it's going to be an excellent race.
Oh sweet, um, yeah the conditions were were not, not as good as last weekend as, as the usual but uh, we've got a few good uh, runners out there and a few good bumps and, and uh, yeah I think everyone had a reasonably good time. <laughs> First time on an OC2 doing a downwinder. It was a nice start. It was not too rough. Um, my partner had a few nerve pain problems on the way, but we got there in the end. Beautiful day. Thank you. So we're here at the end of day three of racing for the Cap Rock event. It's been a fantastic three days. I'm puffing because I've just gotten off the water um, and I can do that because I've got such great volunteers around me and people out on the water in the support boats. We have had an amazing three days here. The weather has been extremely kind to us. It was predicted to be really flat today and disappointing and there's still been some ground swell and waves to catch out there today and I'm sure some pretty good times and I don't think anybody who gets off the water today will be complaining about the conditions today and they will have really enjoyed it. Um, so it's a wrap on the 2023 Caprock event um, but a huge thanks to all the paddlers who turned up here to Paddle Life TV for continuing to sponsor us for our other people who've come like George, our photographer, Nudie Cover, our club sponsors of Clark Rubber and lots of other places, but most importantly, our paddlers and our volunteers. Thank you, that's a wrap, Cap Rock 2023. Well, that brings us to the end of another action-packed episode of Paddle Life TV. We hope you enjoyed all the action from the May Day long weekend of Outrigger Canoe Racing at Emu Park in Central Queensland. We would like to thank Capricorn Coast and Rocky Outrigger Canoe Clubs for hosting the event, as well as our event partners, Aokra North Queensland Zone and Life Media Productions for the generous support. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time on Paddle Life TV.